I'm just happy to be myself, comfortable in my own skin. Um, I'm really grateful that I was able to be born in this age, in this era, this time, that I could change things that didn't feel right to me. So it's, it's a good thing to be able to do that and live my life the way I like. I actually have not really um, endured things like a lot of stories that I've heard for other girls in my community that so I never thought of myself as different um, in the sense of you know my mindset and having goals and reaching them successfully um, I can't really say that there's been many things that have made my life different if anything I think me being a trans girl has really just brought me a lot of confidence and success in many ways in life because I feel like I have to prove myself just a bit more than the others My grandmother, for sure. Her, well, I'd say my grandmother and also my Angelou because I've always loved her poetry and she's always been an inspiration, but on a personal level, my grandmother, for sure. I just tried my best to you know, educate them in the sense of business uh, and lifestyle, um, you know, giving positive influence, you know, supporting them to go after being educated, you know, knowing that they can transform and go after living a normal life and create businesses and be successful outside of the adult world. I'm saying I'm all of those things or titles or whatever people would like to call me. Nothing bothers me in that sense. I know who I am. So whatever terms people feel comfortable using to, you know, point out to someone like myself, it's fine. I would have to say more than anything, probably my relationships. Having been married before um, for four years and I lived a really uh, traditional lifestyle and my husband was a much, much older individual. So I think after having left that lifestyle and delving myself back into the adult world, I realized that being more independent was more for me than having someone uh, kind of control and rule my own household. I think I'm definitely a Leo in those kinds of senses. So I think more than anything, my relationships, my friends always call me love and chaos. My personal relationships in my life have always been a bit of a struggle because I end up with very powerful, domineering individuals. So I think it's always been a struggle to kind of balance my own power and influence in a relationship versus um, my partners as well as I would say probably. I actually told my family that they named me wrong, and I won't tell all the details, but um, that I was a little girl and I came down the stairs in a sheet I made into a gown and thought that I was fabulous and I thought that they were silly, that they didn't recognize that I was a girl. Um, and that was really a turning point for them to realize. So I was able to get past a lot of obstacles, I think, um, that some transgender youth deal with. Everything's going to be fine, for sure. I think. Um, not realizing what a transgender person was. Uh, I have not seen one physically myself until I was 18 years old. I just thought that there was no way that I'd be able to become the woman that I've become today, as far as physically, until I you know, moved up to the north. I lived in Tennessee for a long time growing up, and um, there was no people like myself there. So when I got older, I met friends like myself, um, I finally realized it's going to be fun. You're going to be able to be exactly who you want to be. So I would just tell that little kid that's going to be fun. <clears throat> I would have to say people just recognizing humanity and being compassionate. Everyone goes through struggles. Everyone is dealing with a personal issue. Everyone is dealt with. Everyone could just simply recognize that every other person that you deal with or walk by or have a discriminating thing to say against is going through something just like you are and just show compassion and love and I think that everybody would be so much better. It kind of shocks me when you read the news or watch TV and hear all these incredibly crazy things. In 2013 you'd think we would have our things together by now, but I would think definitely compassion and humanity and recognizing that everyone is going through something.